What is up guys, Chinzo here. You may be wondering why I've got you facing an empty wall. And there's actually a good reason for that. Today's video is all about empty walls. Walls that are empty and need to be filled. So I'll give you a quick rundown and I'll tell you why exactly my walls are empty and how I plan to fill them. So the why. Um, basically over the past few years I've had a hard time deciding what color to paint these walls. And after about four tries, Luckily, the wife and I finally agreed upon this uh, cool granite, this warm yellow, and this neutral white to kind of balance it all out. So the artwork that we place on these walls should be kind of an extension of that idea of warm and cold balance. Maybe leaning more towards the warm to keep it more cozy and homey, warm and comfortable. But I do want to add just the right amount of color, make it pop, make it more interesting, and make it a fun place to uh, chill and relax. So I'm going to take a step back, and then I'll give you guys a quick look at that game plan process. And then after that, we'll go ahead and get to work. Here's a quick look at the plans for each wall. And this is kind of a rough version, but basically I just drew out the sizes of the canvas that I wanted to use and where everything will be going. And I'm also going to include some wood pieces and some of these honeycombs that you might have seen me playing with a second ago. So I'll be painting these. I'm going to do something cool and naturey and warm for this. And uh, maybe a cool place to like put something, a candle, I don't know, something like that. My wife will find something cool to put there. And then I'll also include some artwork on this, either some pyro art or some photography. So definitely stick around to see what I do with that. And I almost forgot to mention, I'll also be remodeling this wall as well. I'm going to most likely fill that wall with all of my uh, photography projects. So I'll give you guys a quick look at that. Photo taken by myself of my fur baby Bronson. And um, custom frame made by me. It's just painted wood with resin laid over the top. If you want to see how I do this project and fill that wall, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit the notifications bell to stay up to date on that one. Alright guys, so I want the two main large pieces to be cohesive, so I'll paint them using the same colors and similar compositions. So you may have noticed that I originally started out using spray paint, however I wasn't really digging it so I went ahead and switched over to house paint and I actually used the same house paint that I originally used to paint the walls and I added just a little bit of pale blue to add some variety.
So these strips were a lot of fun. I used them to help create a focal point and a flow in each piece, and I used that to kind of help guide the viewer's eye around the living room. All right, guys, so the paintings are pretty much complete. I'm going to get a head start on mounting using these command strips. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a start on that and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. So phase one is complete, and uh, I would call this one a success. I like the way everything came out. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let's take a look at the other one, and um, don't forget to chime in in the comments below, and uh, let me know what you guys think. So I had a lot of fun making these, and um, it looks like this will be the first video in a series of DIY videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to work on making some cool art to fill my home, and I hope you guys will join me for the next one. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.